Hi, Leslie from Generations Revival here. I just wanted to take a quick second to say thank you for purchasing this adorable little DIY pumpkin. This is a lot of fun to paint. This one was probably my favorite one to paint so far. Um, I chose teal, just fun and different, but there's all sorts of different variation that you can do with this guy. So let's get started. So here, I'm just unpacking everything. You've got your little paint packets, and I'm gonna start with the dark teal. You can do orange, really any color. Um, and here, I'm just basically going with the flow and direction of the pumpkin. Um, I'm left-handed, so it just felt more natural to kind of turn it and um, keep going with that, that flow. Um, and then towards the middle, you kind of straighten your lines out a little bit, kind of gives it that dimension. So I'm going back over it with a second coat right away because I want the paint pretty wet um, because I'm gonna go in and cut that lighter teal and go along those engraved lines. And I'm just putting one line down and then I'm kind of doing the same thing with that um, lighter teal. And then I'm just basically blending it all together. Um, going in with that lighter one and just blending it. And you blend it in either direction. It's gonna get a little bit darker the further away from that line you go. And that's what gives it the dimension. That's what makes it look like it's kind of popping out. Same thing with the middle. You just kind of make those lines a little bit um, more straight and just kind of go, go with the flow of the pumpkin. So I do the same thing with the green. I kind of paint the stem green and then I take a little bit of that lighter color and kind of fade it in a little bit just to break up that solid uh, green color. So I just, I love the way this turned out. So it'd be really pretty with orange and you can use white and green to um, kind of make those accent and make those layers. So here are the flowers, I'm cutting my paint, the corner kind of piping it out like you would cake icing. So I'm gonna use the same brush that I did that um, teal with and I'm just gonna paint one little flower teal and I'm just kind of dabbing it on and really just kind of painting in some extra of that darker color and it, again there's really no right or wrong way to do it i'm just kind of breaking it up so that it's not just one solid color it gives it a little bit of dimension um, i go in with the dark green and do the big leaves with the dark green i add a little bit of white and blend it in with my little brush and then i add just a little bit of dark kind of blend it in again if you don't like it if you paint something and you don't like your blending let it dry and start all over there's nothing wrong with that it's not going to show anything you can always let it dry and paint over it. So um, I go in and I'm painting the leaves basically the same way. I paint them, put in a little white line and then blend it in real good. And then same with the um, little black line. I use a makeup sponge to dab this light green on um, and I'm just dabbing it straight onto it. So here I'm taking the um, pink color and I'm just coloring in the petals of the flower. Nothing nothing real crazy um, all the lines are engraved so it's kind of like coloring in a coloring book you just kind of stay within your lines and I'm a little messy so mine are sometimes out of the lines and that's totally okay but I'm just gonna keep going and um, I kind of take like the lighter color um, white and kind of break it up a little bit and um, just again to give it a little bit dimension and break it up center of the other flower and then I take that teal color and I'll use that for um, the center of the other flower I take the pink and kind of dry brush it on those green leaves um, again just adds a little dimension kind of breaks it up so I add that teal in and I kind of played with it a little bit here trying to add a little bit of darker in the middle and kind of like ombre it out but it just really wasn't working and I didn't want to mess with it anymore. So again, I take the teal brush and just kind of rake it along the edges and kind of bring it in towards the middle, not necessarily painting on it, but um, just enough to kind of add a little bit of color. So here's the, the wood glue, cut off the tip and kind of pipe it out like your um, pipe and cake icing, if you will. I use my finger to kind of spread it around and get all the parts that need to be covered in glue. And then you're just going to turn it around and place it where you want. And that is it. Um, I use a little trim nailer to um, put the pieces in or uh, attach them. And then this wood rope, you just make a knot, wire, feed it through and tie another knot. And that is it. 
It's super cute. Um, you can add a bow to it, but it's really, really easy, really simple. Don't overthink it. Um, I have a two foot rule and all your mistakes you can't see beyond two feet. So um, thank you again. If you take your project and share it online, be sure to tag uh, Generations Revival. I would love to see your project. Thanks guys.